Revisiting USB and the IEEE 1394 FireWire. What kind of connector is that? Is that an A or a B USB connector? The answer is A. And whether it's USB 2 or USB 3, you know, I've found, and this isn't universal, pun intended, but the little connector there, I can't tell if that's white or gray, but you'll find that on USB 3 ports and cable connectors, sometimes that that lip is colored blue to denote it or to differentiate it from USB 2. You'll also see the USB interface has a little SS to signify super speed if it's a USB 3 interface on the computer. There we have the first one is the A connector and then what's the middle one? Do you remember? That's the full-sized B that you find with stationary devices like external hard drives perhaps or printers, scanners and so forth. And then you have the smaller mini B down at the bottom that's used if you have a Raspberry Pi for instance. At least the first version of it, the Model B that I have at my home, uses a mini B USB connector. Now this guy here is the next frontier of USB. USB-C. This is the C-type connector and one reason why I'm so jazzed about it is that we can get away from all of these different form factors like the full size A and the full size B and just use type C for everything for both sides of the connection and just as much I love the fact that it is a reversible connector. That has been a long time coming. To this day when I'm plugging in USB-A connectors I never get it right the first time. I put it in backwards and have to flip it over and then when I flip it over I realize no wait a minute now it really is backwards I just didn't have the connector lined up to the interface properly you see what I'm saying I'm sure you feel my pain on that so I'm psyched about USB type C over on the right this is the firewire that comes in two standards the 400 and the 800 those denote their transfer speeds megabits per second the 800 is obviously faster than the 400 but in my experience I've seen more 400 interfaces on say external hard drives or expansion cards than I do 800. You can do some research to back me up on this assertion, but FireWire has largely gone the way of the dodo. USB has gotten fast enough to make FireWire a slow standard, and who wants to deal with having to buy a separate expansion card to connect to an external FireWire appliance or device? I wouldn't unless I absolutely had no other choice.